Hey, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through online college degrees, how they're gonna affect your career in comparison to traditional brick and mortar degrees, and which online degrees you can earn in months instead of years. My name's Ryan, I earned a bachelor's degree in nine months, and now I teach other people how to do the same. So if that's interesting, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you'll learn how to earn college degrees faster, all while saving a whole bunch of money. Now, the first question we wanna answer are online degrees equal to brick and mortar degrees, or if not, how different effect will an online degree have on your career? Let's jump over to Google here, because I wanna show you an example. Now, if you just Google, are online degrees respected? Obviously, you can do a Google search just as easy as I can, so why the heck am I showing you this? Well, I wanna show you some patterns, okay? If we look at the frequently asked questions in Google, these link to different articles, different resources, different websites. So I like to do this for like a little quick search, but are online degrees taken seriously? Employers are largely more interested in the person than the, the degree. Um, online degrees are widely expect, or respected by employers. Is it the same as a regular degree? The truth is they're equal in terms of academic quality, job preparation and career opportunities. Um, can I be successful with an online degree? This really, really surprised me. 54% of employers and business leaders report that they're actually more likely to hire candidates with online degrees than those who went to traditional schools. More than half of employers would rather hire people with online degrees than brick and mortar degrees. That's pretty crazy. Is it harder to get a job with an online degree? Um, an online degree holds just as much weight as a traditional degree. In fact, data shows that most employers don't even differentiate between the two types of degrees. And it keeps going, okay? So online degrees, according to all the data out there, are the same. They're, they're of equal value to a brick and mortar degree. Now, obviously, the school you attend not all schools are created equal, okay? So if you're applying, like let's say you've got a degree from the University of Phoenix online and you're applying against somebody who went to Harvard brick and mortar. Obviously, they're way higher than you on the, on the scale than your lousy University of Phoenix degree. So the school does matter, but whether you attend it online or brick and mortar in person does not matter. Now, there's something huge here because... Sitting in a classroom, there are like online degrees, there are now ways to accelerate and to graduate faster. Sitting in a classroom, brick and mortar, being on campus, doing homework assignments, all of that, you can't graduate faster without just taking more classes per semester, which means you're spending more time on campus and you're adding more school hours to the day. That's the only way to graduate faster. Now, it with online situations, a lot of times the work is self-paced and you can do way more in less time. So online degrees are faster, okay? So if you're comparing online brick and mortar, if speed is important to you, you can earn online degrees way faster. Like I said, I earned my degree in nine months. I just tested out of all my classes. Now, not all online programs are equal. Let me walk you through kind of how to differentiate which ones are good, which ones are not so that we can see which degrees are gonna be faster, cheaper, but still hold the same weight in your career. Now, I'm gonna walk you through a few things, okay? We're gonna start with Strayer University. It's a pretty typical online school. I don't love the school, but if we go into their academic programs, let's use like a business management degree, business administration and management, just for example purposes, okay? Uh, 40 courses for this particular degree. Each course is 11 weeks long, okay? You know how long it's gonna take, okay? If you can only take four courses at a time because your schedule doesn't allow you to take more, every 11 weeks you're gonna take four courses, so you're gonna basically take 10 semesters or 10 terms, and you're gonna graduate in closer to five years, okay? It's important to look at this stuff, okay? I don't love Strayer, it's gonna take a long time, four or five years for an online program, come on. Now, let's go to Temple College, okay? Temple College has eight week classes, okay? Boom, eight week classes or 16 week classes, allowing them to focus on just two or three classes at a time. So that's another thing to, to notice, okay? 
eight-week class models instead of 16-week class models. With 16-week class models, you can take four, five, or six classes at a time. And with eight-week class models, you can take two or three classes at a time. Guess what? These eight-week class models are not faster than the 16-week class models. You're just, you're taking less classes and you're just dealing with two or three classes at a time instead of three, four, five, six classes at a time. It's really not faster, okay? Now, if we go to, let's say, University of Maine at Presque Isle, okay? They have what's called these Your Pace programs. Tuition is a flat rate, eight-week session, no matter how many courses you complete. This is awesome. Every eight weeks, you can finish as many classes as you want, plus no weekly deadlines. You control the speed of competing, completing your program. Boom, this is a program that can be done really, really fast. I happen to know there are a lot of people who have earned college degrees from this particular school in like less than a year, okay? So if you're going to choose this or like Strayer, and Strayer is going to take you four or five years, and this is going to take you six, 12, 18 months, obviously you're going to go this route, okay? Let's go to Western Governors University, okay? This is one of my favorite schools for accelerated degrees. Let's scroll down and see how it works. Learning, um, is it truly at your own, pay, own pace? Yes, it's at your own pace. You can go through as many classes as you want. Um, you can go as fast as you want, but you have to complete at least four classes every six months. That's easy peasy. Um, this is actually the school I went to, and I graduated in nine months with a bachelor's degree. So you're looking, what, what I'm showing you here, like you're looking for schools that allow you to go at your own pace. Let's look at, um, and these these last two I showed you, University of Maine at Presque Isle, Western Governors University, they offer what's called competency-based education programs where you can move at your own pace, take more classes per semester, but there are schools that kind of pretend they have this model, but they really don't. A good example is University of Phoenix. They have competency-based programs and let's learn a bit, a little bit about these programs, okay? Traditional, um, one five to six week course at a time and competency-based, about four months to complete four courses, which can be taken one at a time. So seriously, like you're taking one course a month for four months, that's really not faster or that's not different. Um, you can take three to four courses at your own pace every 16 weeks. That's not faster. This is not good, uh, and University of Phoenix is not a good school either. So what you're looking for, if you want an online degree and you want to do it faster and you want to save money, you need to find schools that let you go at your own pace. They charge you per semester instead of charging you for every class so that you're actually rewarded for going faster. But that's the thing. Jobs that want bachelor's degrees they, there's nothing you can do about that. You just have to have a bachelor's degree to qualify for those jobs, right? So if you want those bachelor's degree level jobs or those master's degree level jobs, you have to have the degrees that open those doors. Online degrees equally can open those doors for you. Most employers and studies that I've, done, I've researched, like 95 plus percent of employers don't care if you went to school online or on campus. End of story. Okay. So if you can go get an online degree in six or 12 or 18 months, instead of sitting in a classroom for four or five years, guess what? You just took yourself from a low level job to qualifying for a higher level job in a very short amount of time for a very small amount of money. It's faster, it's easier, it's cheaper, and can still open the same doors. Online degrees are awesome. For a long time, online degrees weren't as well respected as brick and mortar. The biggest thing that has changed that was the pandemic. When the pandemic hit, all schools pushed students online. Therefore, no schools are doing brick and mortar for over a year. Everybody's online. All of a sudden, employers have changed their minds. Employers like online because there's more self-discipline. There's not someone holding your hand as much all the way through, but you can go faster, okay? Same job, less time. If you want to learn how to get an online degree in as little as six months, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a link to a training below called my Degree Hacking Tutorial. 
You can click that link below, watch the degree hacking tutorial for free. And I hope that it helps you graduate even faster than I did. So yes, online degrees, double thumbs up. They're awesome. They're better than they've ever been. The quality of education is now equal to a brick and mortar quality of education. It's pretty awesome and you get better jobs faster. Hope this video has added value to your day. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video.